you won't vote. You're not gonna vote. Young voters often being considered politically uninterested. Young voters here could make a big difference. You're not gonna vote, okay? You hear me? Why, why do I know that? Because I'm just using basic statistics here. YouTube tells me that 71% of my audience, all of you watching, are between the ages of 18 and 34 years old, okay? That's me too. I'm 32 years old, so whatever. I'm in this demographic. We can also be represented on a graph that shows how many of us show up to the polls every election. Back in the 80s, that number was around 50%, half. And then by the 90s, it dipped down really low to like 40%. And then it went up a little. And then in 2016, the last general election, it was 46%. Meanwhile, the older folks are way up here in like the 60s and 70s. People over 65 have almost 50% more representation in our democracy because simply they show up to polls and they vote. Whereas a lot of us stay home. But here's what blows my mind about this as I think about it this year. I was this guy, like I was this guy, I was the person who didn't vote, who didn't really think about this as some super important thing. Let's just like rewind at me being this guy in 2012. Of course, I was on YouTube watching all the celebrities telling me that it's my civic duty to go out and vote. It's only one wrong vote and that is no vote. And they would use this weird phrase like get out and vote. It was always like get out and vote. So on November 4th, get out and vote. I was like, why are we saying get out all the time? It's so weird, like it's, what a weird phrase. We don't use that for anything else. I would hear these celebrities and I would kind of roll my eyes. Like, yeah, I get it. We're in a democracy, this is important, but it's not that important. And you know what added to all of this for me in 2012 is that these ads, these celebrities, they made it sound so easy. Just like take a couple minutes and go vote. Like it's actually not that easy. Voting in America requires a bit of research and a bit of effort, not a ton, but more than what a lot of people make it sound like. And this is all made muddier by the fact that every state has specific rules. I was moving around a lot of this time. I was in Oregon and then I was in Utah and then I was in Virginia. And every one of these states has slightly different rules on how to register, when to register, how to actually vote, which is why there's a YouTube channel literally dedicated to how to vote in every state. It requires a tutorial. So yeah, voting requires a little bit of research and effort, and we should be upfront about that. Look at this ranking of 20 democracies ranked by how much young people show up to vote. Of course, up here we have the Scandinavian countries who have a huge majority of people under 30 who vote. Cool, we get it, Scandinavia. You figured out how to run countries and societies in a very democratic and functional way. Okay, let's just, why don't you keep bragging about it. Scroll down a little bit, a lot, and you get to the United States, way down here. Whoa, 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 what, what's going on here? Hold on, what is going on? Switzerland is even lower, 33% Switzerland? My Switzerland? Wait, but I thought Switzerland was like the perfect country. There's gotta be a good reason for this. I mean, Switzerland does have political parties that share power and so elections aren't really that important and they have all these referenda oh and so- Oh my gosh, just admit that it's not perfect. I'm just not willing to do that. You can go back to your computer. I need to take a break and tell you about today's sponsor uh, for a minute to sort of refresh. Today's sponsor is Simply Safe, which is kind of a cool thing. This box arrived at my house. I opened it up and it was a bunch of security stuff. All of these things that um, I've never really had before. I guess I've always associated security system companies with being sort of like these sleazy salesmen that show up to your house and make you sign all these contracts and before you know it, you're like in a five-year commitment. This was like the literal opposite of that. It was a box that showed up to my house. There was no drama, there was no commitment, there was no signing. I have a studio that has a bunch of gear in it and I've always sort of in the back of my head wondered like, should I have a security system? And I've thought yes, but the problem is it's always been sort of intimidating for me to Think about how to even do that. Simply Safe is a very easy solution for getting security into your home in a very non-threatening way. What I like about this is that it's incredibly accessible. It takes less than an hour to set up. You can put sensors on whatever doors or windows you want or think are necessary. You can put up their HD cameras wherever you want, the motion sensors, you can just customize it. You don't need some salesman or technician to come out and like 
soup up your house. You can just do it yourself in an hour with these really easy to use tools. That's a big selling point for me. No commitments or contracts or anything. It's just really nice to use technology that helps secure your house 24 seven. Once it's set up, it has an automated feature that calls the police if there's any breach of the security system. These products have won awards and I'm not surprised why, they're just really useful. So there's a link in my description that when you click, it helps support this channel, but it also helps you learn more about Simply Safe and how you can get a security setup for yourself. So go click that link and go check it out. Thank you, Simply Safe. Okay, let's get back to voting. Still not very happy about the Switzerland flex over there from my wife. Just admit that it's not perfect. Okay, so back to voting. Less than half of people under 30 don't vote. And what does this actually mean for our society? Well, it means that older people have way more representation to elect other older people who have different perspectives and priorities than younger people do. Tax cuts for rich people who tend to be older people check. They usually don't want things to change very much because they've sort of been doing it the same way for so many years. Check. The changing climate? Yeah, they certainly care about climate change, but like they're not going to be on the earth for that much longer. So it's like they don't actually care. They don't have skin in the game with the climate change thing. This is why one election expert said that if younger people showed up to the polls in the same proportions as older people, it would fundamentally transform American politics. But wait, let's go back to 2012 Johnny and go through another thing that was in his head. Because one of the big things is I was living in Utah at the time, which is a deeply red state that was definitely gonna go for Mitt Romney and I was an Obama person. And so I was thinking, my vote doesn't count, which is actually a very tempting line of thinking and probably a major reason why a lot of people don't vote. But now that I have studied a lot of different governments and how things work in the world, I realized that that line of thinking is totally wrong. First off, there are loads of people on that ballot that are not running for president, that are running for state and local and county positions that incidentally have way more effect on your day-to-day -day life than the presidential election. Sorry to break it to you, but like presidential election gets all the limelight and attention, actually probably affects your life a lot less. Anyway, plus that whole idea of my vote doesn't count is not how democracy works. Oftentimes democracy feels like a winner takes all situation where whoever wins, wins and they do whatever they want because they won. That's not totally the case. Even if you vote for a losing candidate, democracy is a game of pressuring and signaling leaders. Let, let me explain what I mean. Leaders, of course, take note of protests and petitions and other forms of activism. But the thing they really care about, the thing that really pressures them, is the vote. Because that is the only thing that can actually lose them their jobs. Even if your candidate loses, let's say you are a red person voting in a blue state or a blue person voting in a red state or whatever, the winner of that election will still note the results of their opponent. If there's a huge turnout for your candidate, even though they lost, the winner of that election will notice and they will take note and they will factor that into their behavior, into their decision making. That is a fact, that is how democracy works because they need to keep an eye on it because they realize that if there was a big turnout for their opponent this time, they need to keep an eye on that for the next election. On the other hand, if you don't vote and you stay home, that candidate who won has zero pressure. They feel zero pressure to behave any differently because they won so comfortably. Voting isn't just about voting for the winner. It's about signaling to everyone what the actual political diversity is in your city or your county or your state or your country. Your vote actually does matter even when it feels like it doesn't. And this took me a while to like actually accept but now I see it very clearly, not only in our democracy, but in democracies around the world. Okay, I know I sound like I'm sort of getting a lecture here. There are a lot of really good rational reasons why young people don't vote. Often we have less flexible jobs, so it isn't easy for us to take time out to go vote. It could cost us a lot of money to do that. Often we haven't made a habit out of it. People that are over 65 have been doing this for a while. They've had time to develop the habit and get used to the experience of voting. And honestly, that positive association of going to the polls, voting, feeling good about it, and then the next time you're like, oh, I wanna do that again. Young people haven't had the experience of doing that yet. And listen, I don't think this video is gonna suddenly change this line and have it just start to go up and suddenly we have a 70%
turnout for young people, though that would literally like change our entire country. But I do think something is changing. I think us young people are realizing that a lot of real serious threats are being created and exacerbated by the old folks that have been running things for a really long time. And that those threats could actually have huge effects on our future and our future job prospects, what our society looks like. And I think we're realizing that, yeah, even though you have to do a little research and that voting laws are a little different in every state, that it's worth the effort. Even if our candidate loses, to send a signal about what we want and what we care about in our democracy.